Hi everyone and welcome to the Pearly Cute channel after so many months. A lot has happened in these past few months. I became a model for AP, you know, they just wanted someone who didn't really fit their like general criteria of like tiny, petite, can't smile, isn't black, oh, you caught me in that line, uh, never change AP, never change. As you can see, <laughs> actually a lot has changed, um, so I thought actually today I would just give you guys a quick update. Um, this is kind of officially me being like, okay, I think I can start coming back again. Um, it really does depend though on how busy I am in the next few months. Do you know what? Let me just get into it. Let me just get into it and tell you where I've been. So my style, <laughs> my Lolita style actually changed. It hasn't changed drastically. Obviously you can still see I'm wearing like pink. I'm wearing, this bow is actually in the wrong place. Wait, it's like almost in the right place. Like it's like almost perfect, but it's like, no, I'm just making it worse now. Basically over the past few months, I've been finding it really, really hard to like the way that I look in like super sweet AP Lolita and I got really fed up. I got really fed up. There was definitely a few times where I just thought, I'm just, I'm leaving, I'm leaving Lolita. I realized that I wanted to start wearing dresses that I would be able to wear on a daily basis. Um, I don't have the time really to like wear Lolita that much anymore. Um, and I feel like since the pandemic, things haven't really gotten back in terms of like the community in the UK, in London, things haven't really gotten back to where they were. But even if they had, I wouldn't have had time on the weekends at all to wear Lolita. Like I just have not had the time. And um, I, but I still wanted to wear it quite badly. So basically over these past few months, not only have I started wearing much more like toned downable Lolita, um, but I've also been like dipping my hand into kind of cottagecore aesthetics as well. Um, so I've been wearing lots of like floaty dresses. I'm starting to buy like more linen pieces and like cotton pieces and things that uh, still stand out and they're very different to the norm, but also aren't so different that they're a hassle to wear. And then on top of that, I've been really into like barefoot shoes, um, which a lot of people have been laughing at me about. <laughs> So thanks guys. <laughs> but um, yeah, I just, my feet were so messed up. Uh, basically, I will get into it later, but I've been working seven day weeks and um, my feet were just so messed up. Uh, they were so painful. I started getting like really hard, like callus lumps. Okay, wait, you don't need to know, you don't need to know, you don't need to know, TMI, TMI, TMI. <laughs> but I basically was like, there's gotta be another way anyway. So I got really into barefoot shoes. Um, so that's kind of also been part of like my fashion change is that I wanted to wear something that I could wear with barefoot shoes. Um, if you don't know what barefoot shoes are, they're basically shoes that, they look just like normal shoes. They really are just normal shoes, but they have their zero drop. So um, the sole is, completely flat you don't have a little um like you don't have any arch support in it and uh they tend to have very 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 thin soles as well so with some of my shoes i can literally feel like, like the ground beneath me there's like barely any support like minimal there's no support they're they're so basic um but it's supposed to strengthen your feet and it's supposed to help you walk the way that like humans were naturally intended to walk um they don't work for everyone but they've really really helped me i'm not going to lie so if that's something that you think that you should go for honey go for it go for it live your best i'm living mine <laughs> So yeah, basically my Lolita wardrobe and my non-Lolita wardrobe, I keep looking over there because that's what my wardrobe is, sorry. My <laughs> Lolita wardrobe and my non-Lolita wardrobe are like the same wardrobe now. They um, have become very similar. I think this is like my Peter Rabbit dress that I just got. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have known that I've just gotten this dress. Uh, this is probably like one of the more out there pieces. And I do have still have like a few out more, like a few more like out there kind of crazy pieces. Um, but I have a lot of like uh, non-printed stuff um, and a lot of just like very kind of casual, like all over prints. I know, <laughs> crazy. I'm the one person who was like, I hate all over prints. 
who am I? Who have I become? A great person, really. That's what it is. So yeah, I would say my style is a lot more country now. Think like hats, longer dresses. Yeah, I'm going, I, I can't stand the length of like AP anymore. Like it just feels really not me. Like I, I, I cannot stress how much I felt like a giant baby in AP. I felt like a giant baby. That's literally how I felt. I can, that's, that's it. I felt like a giant baby wearing AP and I wanted that to end. I did not want to feel like I was wearing the clothes of a baby. Um, I don't think that other people look like babies in AP. I think people look really nice. I felt like, like I looked like a, a giant baby. Um, so it just, it was doing nothing for me. It was doing nothing for me. <laughs> so I've just had like a massive style shift. I've got quite a few more things to sell, but literally like I've sold off like my Milky Planet's gone. Um, <laughs> a couple of other like AP dresses I've sold. I've kept a few. I've kept like Magic Princess and Toy Fantasy just because I just couldn't like, my heart i just i was like oh what if i want to wear it again i don't think i will though so yeah that's one thing that um i've been going through these past few months i didn't really want to film just because everything's like been changing um i still need like a longer petticoat like some of my dresses just don't look that great with with a petticoat so i've been wearing a lot of my clothes petticoatless and i haven't been hating it actually i've been quite enjoying it i'm not gonna lie petticoats might just not be for me i'm not sure i just feel like I'm a hazard when I wear petticoats and I don't feel completely comfortable. So I am a hazard when I wear petticoats. I say I feel like, like okay, Hyper Japan the other day, I just, I spilt Coca-Cola all down my friend's arm. I'm a hazard and petticoats, they don't help for me. They hinder me even further. I am a walking mess, okay? I don't know if I'm enjoying wearing petticoats. I think I might actually stop or just wear really small ones i know crazy <laughs> crazy stuff guys this is fresh in craziness like whoo so i assume you guys noticed i'm in a different place as well i actually moved back in with my parents about two months ago um in order to afford a house sometime down the line uh so me and my sister are kind of moving on we wanted to stop renting um and we want to buy and the only way to buy really is to move back in with our parents not pay rent and save up for a deposit so that's what we're doing at the moment um but it's coincided really nicely with uh what i'm doing um myself uh because i'm starting up a new business which is again why i've been so a well so just afk sorry guys i'm not here but i will talk a bit more about that in a second um, so I've moved back in with my parents. Um, I'm currently sharing a room with my little sister as well. Like we don't have enough rooms for everyone in this house. You know, someone had to give. Um, my parents moved into this house not that long ago and they are looking to do a lofted extension at some point in the future while we're still here. So I will have my own room at some point, but for the time being, I'm sharing with my little sister, which means it's quite hard to record videos because I'm often not alone. The house isn't, I mean, there's five of us now living in a house. It's not that quiet. We went from two of us living in a house to five of us. So it's just about finding that balance. Um, also, everything's just been a bit chaotic. Like, I still haven't finished unpacking because I, I've literally just put like a wardrobe up and things like that. So I haven't even had like a place to store my clothes. Um, yeah, so everything's just been a bit chaotic there. Plus we've had to introduce like our three cats to my parents' cat. So that's taken time. They still aren't really getting along. They're getting there though. They are getting there. They're getting there one day. <laughs> They'll be best friends. I'll make sure of it. I will make sure of it. Apart from just like find, being able to find time to record and also being able to find a space. I'm not really happy with the space, this little area here because the window's right there. So you, shadow here, light here. Uh, I really would want to be like facing the, the, the window when I record, but 
it's a mess we'll sort it out we will sort it out yeah so this might be it for like the next couple of years like i might be sitting here hopefully i'm not i'm gonna put some nice stuff up though so you have some nice things to look at there's like a bit of dirt on the oh you can't see it good never mind i won't talk about that so basically i've changed my wardrobe changed my style and i've moved back with my parents but also as i said before i for a long period of time honestly i was actually still filming videos during this but i was actually working a seven day week um so from uh like september last year through to beginning of may this year i have been working seven day weeks um which was honestly it was killing me it was absolutely killing me i was i was tired i because i was so tired i was just kind of going through these like highs and lows then highs and lows highs and lows um and i just yeah basically i just kept crashing like every few weeks i would just have this massive crash i wouldn't get out of bed um i was just too tired i was too tired absolutely just zonked me <laughs> like zonked if that's even the word but i needed to do it i learned a lot and i'm happy to have stopped that now i've actually pretty much quit every single job that i have <laughs> um in the hopes that my business will take off this coming september um a bit of a gamble but we love a gamble here so <laughs> what can i say but when i start my business again i'm just not really sure what my schedule is going to be like it's likely that i'll be working like six day weeks uh for a while for a few months um, and I will be really tired, but I may also have my own space away from home to film for a bit as well, um, which would be great if uh, it all works out, which will be great. <laughs> uh, and that's all you get to know because if the business fails, I don't want anyone to laugh at me. <laughs> you, yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> obviously if everything's fine everything's successful i'll talk a little bit more about it give you guys a little bit of a tour uh, which will be fun which will be very fun in fact i'm very excited to make that video if i ever do but it also means that um i think my content is going to change just a little bit like i love doing video essays and i definitely want to keep that up but I think it would be interesting to do other things. So I don't know if I will end up just doing video essays on here um, and like little vloggy type cute things on TikTok or putting everything on YouTube. Obviously, if you guys just wanna see video essays on here, then that's fine. Like, let me know, <laughs> let me know. <laughs> to be fair, I kind of like the, I kind of like keeping everything kind of separate like that. So I probably will just do video essays on here and then do kind of like other stuff on TikTok, which means that I need to stop, you know, really making TikToks and getting around my head around that. I'm old now, I've become one of the oldies. <laughs> what can I say? I don't know how to make the TikToks. How does one do the tickety tockities? I don't know. But yeah, seven day work Sarah was not a good Sarah, not a happy Sarah. She was a uh, Sarah full of mood swings and sadness. So she's gone, she's gone. Uh, Sarah's feeling a, a lot more capable now. I kind of have lost uh, my, my work stamina as well. Like my kind of sitting down typing work stamina because I just wasn't able to do any of that during that time. And I got really good at it. <laughs> I could sit down for like a whole day and just like edit a video or like script a video, research for a video for like a whole day. Um, and now I'm finding it really hard to concentrate for like even half an hour. But I'm just working. I mean, at first it was literally like I couldn't sit down and concentrate for like 10 minutes. Now it's like half an hour. So it is getting better. That's pretty much like it. <laughs> That's like the, the three big things. Those are like the three main reasons why I just have not been around this past like eight months or so oh gosh that's a long time <laughs> but that would be why i did also mean to post a video quite soon after that melanie video that i posted um and i just had a massive mental block like it was uh it was supposed to lead off i did say in that video that i was making a second part my cat is like rubbing up against the box in front of me i'm really sorry if you can hear that um but uh, what was i saying <laughs> 
Uh, I did say in my Melanie video that I was making it a two-parter and the second part wasn't really to do with Melanie at all but it was to do with like artistic expression and expression within fashion as well especially within elite fashion um, and I thought it led on quite nicely from the Melanie video but uh, I just yeah I had a massive mental block about it I didn't really like where I was going with it um, and I kind of just got in my head about it I just thought oh my gosh I've got to do this video I have to do it I said I was gonna do it but, but I just can't I don't know what to do I, ah, it's gonna be a bad video so <laughs> so I just never did it um, and then like after some like a month went by I was like you know what Sarah you just need to just you need to let it die like it's fine you, you didn't have it in you I think the moral of that video was gonna be wear whatever you want like <laughs> it literally doesn't matter <laughs> make your own art be who you want to be be a r b i e anyway I do have um stuff that I want to talk about still changing my style just gave me quite a nice fresh perspective on Lolita and how I want to wear it and how I want to consume it as well. So I'm quite excited to talk about that. Uh, I don't think like it's anything groundbreaking, like, but I want to talk about it, so. <laughs> but um, also I just wasn't really, I don't know. Hmm. I, I don't know how to say this because I don't want to be mean and I don't want people to be put off um, from watching my videos, but I wasn't very happy with the way that some people were interacting with my videos. The Melanie video, <laughs> I mean, that's an interesting case. Let's talk about that for a second. This is different, this is different. I don't feel the same way about this, but my word, the amount of people that comment on videos without watching them is astounding. The amount of people that thought that I was picking a fight with Melanie for some reason like what <laughs> did you watch the video anyway whatever <laughs> that was a madness and that really opened my eyes to how little I think because like obviously we talk about it all the time how people have such short attention spans and things like that and people's attention spans are becoming shorter and shorter I felt it myself um even like uh you know I find that I can't like watch a tv show without having my phone right there and like scrolling through my phone at the same time to keep myself like uh engaged um so yeah it, it just shocks you like how people want to consume media so quickly that they are willing to assume what the a uh, piece of media is trying to say without actually watching it and then trying to argue with that piece of media without and I'm not the only one that has experienced this this is a thing that keeps happening to creators <laughs> who are making video essays if you don't want to watch a 30 minute video essay on a subject don't click on the video and don't engage with it don't comment on it if you aren't there for that type of type of media then just don't engage with it like what you're just you're just wasting your own time at the end of the day you're not wasting my time i made the video i said what i had to say you chose to watch five minutes of it and then make a long comment about something you didn't even watch and actually a video that you would have had no problem with so like seriously if you don't want to watch a 30 minute video don't click on the video or like if you get bored of it then like just click off don't comment like you haven't watched the whole thing you don't have the whole uh context of the video anyway that's actually not what was getting me down i've made a lot of videos kind of critiquing the elite community um a community which i absolutely adore and i think the reason that i take so much time to critique it is because i see such value in it um, and it upsets me that there are still these quite toxic pockets of the community um but also i like to talk <laughs> i love to just talk about my opinions um, you don't have to agree with my opinions. You don't have to even acknowledge my opinions. You can literally just be like, uh, who the fuck are you? Go away. Like, <laughs> you can be like that. I don't care. I don't mind. Um, but I, yeah, I like to talk. I like to talk a lot. And I guess I did not really think about how people would engage with my content. Um, and I've seen a lot of comments 
um, from people being like, this is why I will never be a part of the Lolita community. Yeah, I've just had such bad experiences with all Lolitas in the past. Uh, people made me leave the Lolita community, blah, 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 blah. All of this very negative stuff. And I'm like, that's not what my videos, that's not the point of my videos. That never was the point of my videos. That's not what I'm trying to say in my videos. It was a really loud noise. I think there might be a ghost in the house, I'm not gonna lie. Oh my gosh, it was really loud. It sounded like someone sneezing. I'm home alone. <laughs> I'm scared now. <laughs> this might be my last ever video. I might die. <laughs> I really don't like to see comments like that because that is not the point of my videos. Um, if you're using my videos as a way to just be like, yeah, this is why I hate the Lolita community, then my videos aren't for you. And I, I don't know how else to put this. I can't really think of a kinder way to say it, but I feel like I need to protect my own space. Um, and I've already kind of done that. Like, obviously people are gonna do what people are gonna do. I can't stop people from commenting things like that. Um, and I won't stop people from commenting things like that. I will just ask you not to do that. Um, but understand that you're talking to someone who is very much a part of the loser community, so like, uh, this is this one's not for you. <laughs> like, this one's not for you, bestie. Like, close the browser and just take a walk, honestly. Yeah, uh, I guess, like, I, people, a lot of YouTubers basically have said that they don't really like to engage with their comment section anymore, and, uh, I think people always assume it's because of like the stupid hate they get like you're ugly and <laughs> those stupid comments but it's not that and it's not even like a hate or anything it's just people misinterpreting what you are saying that's what gets me down the most <laughs> it's really annoying <laughs> um so yeah like i i'm a bit i mean ahhing about it at the moment because i basically just don't particularly want to engage with the comment section because of comments like that. Um, but obviously, uh, oh, you guys comment. So I don't really know what to do. I don't really know what to do. I guess that's another thing that's kind of stopped me from posting on YouTube because I don't really know what to do. I don't, I want to talk to people. And I want to see what people have to say about the things I put out there. I'm not putting out these videos just for that to be the end of the conversation. I want to hear what people think about these things, but I cannot take people misinterpreting the things I am saying. Um, and it is that thing where it doesn't matter how clear uh, you make your points, a la Melanie video, <laughs> people will misinterpret the things you are saying purely because they want to pick a fight. Um, why though? <laughs> <laughs> like yikes cringe am i right like yikes all i'm saying really is if you are going to comment something like that please think about why you're commenting something like that and then maybe try and comment something a little bit more constructive rather than just being like bear lolitas are dumb and i hate them bear <laughs> like cool <laughs> Thanks. That's not what I was saying in my video though. <laughs> anyway, going forward, I really want to make more videos. I want to be more present on social media. Um, and I just don't know how feasible that's gonna be. I am going to try my hardest to be on social media a lot more. I'm gonna try my hardest to make more YouTube videos. I absolutely adore making YouTube videos. I cannot stress that enough. I've got a video in the works at the moment. I was actually thinking about recording it today wearing the same outfit, but I don't think I will because I don't think it's completely fine tuned. This definitely will not be the last that you see of my face. Uh, it's, I'm definitely gonna be around more uh, in the near future. So with all that said and done, I think I'm gonna end this here. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this little, probably very long update. I really can just talk and talk and talk, honestly, I don't stop. And so literally what was to be like a quick five minute update has probably turned into like a 15 to 20 minute long video. But yeah, I hope you have enjoyed. Uh, I hope that uh, you guys are still there. I don't know if you are. And I will see you hopefully in the near future in my next video. 
Bye. Mwah.